questions. Um, first of all, he asked me, um, can you give me some tips on how to get published in a magazine? He's like, I'm a wedding photographer. How do I get published? Secondly, he said, how do you promote yourself as a photographer? So um, this is really cool timing because I just got um, the fashion issue of the knot, which is awesome. And what's even more awesome is that uh, one of my weddings that I did with Sterling Social is in here. It's Brittany and Shanae's wedding. And um, I just want to share it with you a little bit because this has a little bit to do with what we're talking about today. Um, so first of all, I would say, okay, I'm gonna find this in a minute. But first of all, I would say my tips on being published in magazines, you have to think about like, what's the purpose of a magazine? Who picks these magazines up? These are brides, people that are gonna get married, pick these, these magazines up. And the purpose of them doing that is because they're trying to get inspired for what they wanna do for their wedding, right? So as the photographer, you have to keep that in mind and you have to, to really think about like what a, a, a bride would be looking for. So think stationary, cake, shoes, uh, flowers, uh, headpieces, any kind of cool detail shots, you know, like flower girl dresses or rings, anything that's like, you know, any kind of detail shots. And the magazine editors, whether it's like a, a, a magazine or any of the blogs, they love details. And of course you have to, to turn over a full story in your submission and you have to get beautiful photos of the bride and groom, but the details are really, really, really important. Um, so that's number one, like that's the first thing. The second thing is that um, I would try to develop relationships or get some kind of dialogue going with the editors of the magazine. And you can find all the editors of the wedding magazines online are in the magazines. So, you know, they're, they're people too, you know, they put their jeans on one leg at a time, you know, they're, they go to work, they're cool, they're, they're wanting cool uh, weddings. They want you to be that photographer that's gonna send them your favorite wedding that you shot, which is also really important. It has to be fresh. You know, you can't really sit on a wedding for a year and and get like be nervous or scared and, and then send it. It's not gonna work like that. I mean, like, you're shooting a wedding, you need to submit it because the, these magazines come out like every six months and so you, each magazine is different, but the submission like cutoff is, is soon, but you can find all of that information online and it's really important. Um, the second question, which I thought was super good question, was how do you promote yourself as a photographer? Um, I would say, I'm looking for this wedding, you guys, because I want to cut, I'm making a point. Okay, 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 I found it, okay. So I'm gonna make eye contact with you and finish what my thought was. He said, how do you promote yourself as a photographer? And I would say, number one is social media, because social media is free marketing. Um, and, you know, I've talked about this on other videos, but I'll sort of refresh you with it, is, um, Facebook, Instagram, on the blog, Twitter, if you do Tumblr, you know, whatever you do. The most important thing for me is consistency. Put your work up. I mean, you're shooting all the time. Hopefully you're shooting all the time. Um, if you don't have paid gigs to shoot all the time, figure out another way to shoot all the time and really, really, really post your stuff up. People need to know, like you're active, you're moving, you're shooting stuff. So I would say the number one way I promote myself is, uh, as a photographer is on social media. The other thing I want to talk about with that is the way that I promote myself, right? So I feel like I know myself pretty well and I know my brand uh, really well. So the things that I put in my, on my blog are, are really specific. For instance, um, okay, so this is the fashion issue of the knot, right? So that's cool, it's kind of special. Um, and this is the first photo in our spread. It's cool, right? It's like an editorial shot. Um, Brittany is such a rad bride. I mean, she's super fashion forward. She wore a black and white Vera dress and she had a really cool wedding. So for me, I always think of this thought of like attract and repel. So on my blog, you'll see a lot of fashion work. So during the week I'm shooting a lot of fashion and I love fashion. 
So, um, you know, when Brittany went to my blog or when she uh, went to my website, she got to see that like, we have this thing in common that we both like fashion and I might be a good fit for her. So I would really encourage you to put on your blog, like who you are, right? Like make it a little bit more personal so people know who you are. So it's all about, so you can attract and repel those clients that you want. So, okay. So we talked about tips on being published and we talked about how to promote yourself as a photographer. We can get more into detail with that later. I'll be more specific, but I did want to just answer his questions and um, keep you guys inspired. So uh, you can always check out the blog, janafromalabama.com. Follow me on Instagram. Uh, let's connect on Facebook. And as always, stay inspired. Bye.